As you may know from my other videos, my hobbies include the one wheel and woodworking, in particular, chainsaw wood carving. In this video, I'm going to share with you the talents of Unaloto, a Polynesian wood carver who made this tiki for me from start to finish. I met the wood carving artist while on vacation in Maui here in Lahaina. I'm cruising down Front Street. If you'd like to see my full review and adventures in Lahaina, go on and check my channel. It was the previous video to this. In summary, I was cruising down Front Street when I ran into him and saw him hard at work making a piece of artwork and I just had to find out more. His artwork is displayed at the intersection of Hotel Street and Front Street where you can see all the artwork that they've produced and sometimes you'll be able to watch them as they make their pieces of art. Aloha, my name is uh, Una. It's short but the last name is Taukia. Today uh, we're gonna show you how to make a tiki. This piece of wood right here is uh, basically uh, made out of the monkey pod tree. So I'm going to carve a face basically uh, you know, in this particular piece right here. And what tools are you going to be using? Today, uh, in this particular piece, I'm going to use these three different type of tools. This is a flat trestle. You can find it anywhere. This one's right here, they call it a B. So it's a two different type of bead that I'm going to use in particular. So all hand tools? All hand tools. All right. And uh, as far as the uh, hammer, the mallet, just a piece of wood. Uh, basically, uh, this is a kiabi tree wood. All right. Let's get started. So this is monkey pod. Monkey pod wood. So the monkey pod wood, all hand tools, and uh, let's see, you learned this from your father? Father-in-law. Father so it's been uh, something that's been passed down? Fourth generation passed down. Five generations? Wow. Amazing. 
That's heavy. Yeah. That's heavy wood. It's dense. dense. Right. Cool. Thank you very much. So at this point, Una was going to take the tiki for some touches, including sanding and wood finishing. I decided to take my one wheel and go explore the Banyan Tree Park across the street. This is an amazing park, and if you ever get the chance to check it out, you should definitely do so. If you want to watch a video of it to see some of the highlights as I one wheel around, you can see that in my previous video. After cruising around a little bit on the one wheel and after having a little Hawaiian shave ice with my family, I went to their main shop, which is right across the street from the Banyan Tree Park on just a little further south. And here you can see their shop with all of their, their artwork on display. As you can see from the sign, they are fourth and fifth generation wood carvers using tra traditional techniques, all hand tools to make these beautiful pieces of artwork. Carving is an art form that is an important part of the Polynesian culture. Here we can see some of the tikis and some of the local animals such as whales and you'll see turtles. So are you redoing the head? Yeah. What was wrong with it? I just didn't like it. <laughs> Making this for a family? The reeds. Yeah. Tiki carvings in Polynesia are an important part of the mythology, the history, and the culture of the South Pacific. They were used to mark sacred and significant sites. And in the Hawaiian culture in particular, they were represented different Polynesian gods. Here we are inside their studio, displaying some of their larger pieces. They have some beautiful pieces of work, and so if you're ever in the Lahaina area, definitely stop by, give these guys a shout out. They're super nice, super friendly. Tell them Jimmy Chang sent you, and maybe they'll let you work on some of their wood carvings, just like they let my daughter carve part of their turtle, and you can see that in the video previous to this. It's amazing what these guys can do with simple hand tools, chisels, and uh, using a makeshift mallet with a hard piece of wood. These guys truly are artists. I'm honored that I was able to meet Una and his relatives and be able to learn more about their skill and their art. So the next time you find yourself in Hawaii or in the South Pacific and you're considering what kind of souvenir to get, before you pick up that mass-produced, cheap, tourist-aimed trinket or t-shirt, consider supporting a local artist.
Needless to say, I was very pleased with the end result of this tiki. I ended up taking it wherever I went for the rest of the trip. Here are some more pictures of things in their shop that impressed me. The Maui hook, another turtle, and an octopus. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you're ever in Maui, go check these guys out. They're great. Just, if anything, to watch them at work. Here I am on my way back to the hotel. And of course I had to stop and take a picture with the Tiki and my one wheel. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to support the channel. I will leave links to any videos that I've talked about in the description below.